Bottle Feeding, 10 Essential Tips Bottle feeding is something most new parents have to get to grips with at some point. It could be you've chosen to use formula to feed your baby, or maybe you're leaving baby with a caregiver and you need to pump breast milk to be fed throughout the day. Whatever the reason, it isn't always as straightforward as you think it's going to be. If you're wondering how and when you should bottle feed your little one, in this video you'll discover 10 top bottle feeding tips that will make the process easier. 1. Always feed when the baby is hungry. When breastfeeding, it's good to get into a routine. However, with bottle feeding, experts actually suggest it's better to feed your baby whenever they are hungry. That way, you aren't forcing them to eat when they're not ready. More importantly, you should never hold off feeding your baby when they are hungry, as this can lead to neurological and physical development problems. You can tell if your baby's hungry by looking out for little signs such as sucking on their hands, fussing, and squirminess. Crying is typically one of the last signs they resort to when they're hungry. 2. Don't overfeed. This tip largely applies to those both breastfeeding and bottle feeding. It's estimated babies need 19 to 30 ounces of milk every day. If you're going to be away and you're relying upon somebody else to feed them, you'll need to leave approximately 1.5 ounces of milk for every hour you're not there. There's actually a great breast milk calculator which I'll link to in the description, which allows you to work out exactly how much milk you'll need to leave. Remember, your baby's tummy is only small, so they don't need a lot of milk in one sitting. Don't try and force them to drink the whole bottle. Instead, follow their lead and recognize when they're full. 3. Feed them in the right position. Never try to feed your baby while they're lying flat on their back. They should be in the same sort of position they would be when nursing, so at a 45 degree angle. Hold the bottle horizontally to the baby's mouth. It's natural for them to swallow a little air, and this will come out through the nose, so there's no need to panic too much. If you do try to feed them while they're lying flat on their backs, it leads to a risk of tooth decay and ear infection. They also swallow a lot more air this way, leading to problems with gas. 4. Wait a while before introducing the bottle. Again, this tip applies to those helping to breastfeed as well as bottle feed. In this situation, it's always best to wait until your baby is comfortable breastfeeding. This is because the way they feed from the breast and bottle is completely different. Feeding from the breast requires a little more work. Therefore, if they realize the bottle is easier, they could start rejecting the breast altogether. It's recommended that you wait 3-8 to eight weeks before introducing a bottle if you're breastfeeding too. 5. Be aware of allergies. If your baby starts to vomit, is fussier, or develops hives after bottle feeding, it could be a sign that they are allergic to the formula. Babies are not allergic to breast milk, but many do develop allergies to formula. It could just be the type of formula you're using, and switching to another one will help. It's best to consult a doctor to establish the cause of any unusual symptoms and having the allergy properly diagnosed. 6. Allow someone else to bottle feed. There are two advantages of allowing someone else to bottle feed your baby. Firstly, it encourages your baby not to get too attached to you feeding them. This is essential if you'll be relying upon a caregiver to feed your little one while you're away. Secondly, they may find it upsetting and strange at first if they're used to breastfeeding. Obviously, if you're purely bottle feeding with formula, this tip won't apply. 7. Building a bond One thing that you'll often be told is that breastfeeding is best because it helps you develop a strong bond with your baby. While this is true, it's also possible to develop a strong bond when bottle feeding too. Don't assume you'll miss out just because you're bottle feeding. It's all about creating the right environment. Touch is especially important during feed times, so hold the baby close when giving them a bottle. Eye contact is equally as important, so don't look away. Be present when you're bottle feeding, rather than looking around and worrying about all the tasks you need to get done. This is yours and your baby's time together, so treasure it. 8. Getting the right temperature the milk should be room temperature, with the nipple of the bottle being lukewarm to touch. If it feels hot or cold, then it's not right. If using breast milk in the bottle, never heat it up in the microwave or on the stove. Instead, place the bottle into a bottle warmer or hot water to warm it up. 9. Do not shake the bottle. With formula, you can get away with shaking up a bit, but breast milk actually separates once it's been stored if it's shaken up. Instead, swirl it around a little bit to mix it together. This is an especially good tip for parents feeding with bottles during the night, or for the caregiver during the day when you're not around. And finally, 10. Remember to burp them halfway through. 
As mentioned earlier, small amounts of air can be swallowed during feeding, making it important to burp a little one halfway through the feed. This will help to avoid painful gas and stomach pains. You can also try burping them if they get a little fussy at any point during the feed. As you can see, there's lots to think about when you bottle feed. These are just some of the basics you need to be aware of. As with any new technique, it may take time for your baby to get used to bottle feeding, especially if they are used to breastfeeding. Persistence is key, and you should find that the 10 bottle feeding tips mentioned in this video will really make it easier. And of course, if you have any tips of your own, we'd love to hear them as well. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you'd share this video with someone else who you think would benefit from knowing this information, as well as hopping on over to our website and signing up for our email newsletter by clicking the link in the description. By signing up, you'll not only be the first to hear about our new releases, but you also get exclusive goodies that are only given to our email subscribers. Finally, the next time you're looking to buy baby products, I encourage you to look at what we have available. Let me tell you, we aren't just out to make a profit, and pride ourselves on our high-quality products and excellent service. All Starlight Baby products are laboratory-tested to ensure they are 100% safe for you and your baby, which unfortunately isn't something every company can say. On top of that, we donate 10% of our profits to children's charities and hope to increase this percentage as Starlight Baby continues to grow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and here's to making a positive difference in the lives of our children and the world as a whole.